Okay. So we're here with Troy Grosnick. Troy, how you doing? Good. Good. All right. So uh, Troy, talk about uh, last year. Obviously, team had a very successful season. Uh, Cleary Cup, first NCAA appearance. appearance. Um, what did you personally kind of take from last season um, in your experience with the team? Uh, obviously, it's a great experience just to kind of be along for the ride, see a uh, new freshman year, get to go see all the ECAC schools, um, so you have an idea of what to expect your sophomore year, and then obviously make it into uh, the national uh, tournament, which is huge, and uh, I think everybody on the team this year, it's going to be a great experience for us to realize what it takes to get back to that level and what it takes to actually compete in one of those games. So yeah, overall, last year was a great experience, I think, for everyone in the room. Um, so this past week, uh, or this past weekend, picked up the first career win against uh, Army. Um, talk about what that was like for you and uh, how the team played against Army as a whole. Yeah, obviously it was nice. Um, all it really means is that we got one win this year. Um, and it's something for us to build off of as a team. Obviously the team played really well in front of me. made my job really easy. Um, yeah, it's nice to have my first career win, but at the end of the day, that's all it is. It's just one win. So obviously you got two new, uh, two new uh, guys in the goaltending trio there uh, with uh, Dylan and, and Colin. Talk about how as a group you guys maybe get along or, and also kind of talk about what they bring each to the table. Right. I think as a group we get around along great and that's something that uh, stands back from last year. Corey, Keith and I got along great. Um, so this year, I mean, we're just trying to push each other in practice and, uh, you know, whoever works the hardest in practice, has the best week of practice, is going to end up in the net. And um, Like I've said before, whoever that is, they're going to get the support of the other two guys. We have great friendship, even though we've uh, only been together here for a little over a month, but um, there's obviously mutual respect for each one of those guys, and I think we uh, all push each other really well, really hard in practice. Yeah, did you did you make the Western trip last year? Yeah. yeah. So you were there, you saw those two games. What uh, what do you remember about those games just watching them play last year and what have you noticed about them maybe if you've watched film on them this uh, year? They they had a really aggressive four check. They do like to jump up in the rush. Um, so I see uh, it's gonna be critical for us to cover well in the D zone, as it always is. Um, and then otherwise it's gonna be critical for us to to our game plan. Um, our system as well, we're the tough team to beat, so uh, I think really focusing on ourselves, executing our system is going to be a huge success this weekend. And uh, one more question, you know, I know you're a Packers fan, obviously they're undefeated, um, are you hoping maybe that kind of rubs off on you a little bit, you're a fan, you're, you're rooting for the Packers, maybe that helps, you know, I don't know if that, if that yeah, would be. It's always nice to be surrounded by success, I guess, so uh, I mean, Wisconsin uh, sports have been on a bit of a hot streak here, so uh, I mean, I don't think it really correlates much to our team, but, uh, you know, obviously seeing success and Aaron Rodgers is definitely a big role model of mine, so uh, uh, just kind of carrying on, like, yeah. his persona, something I take after, uh, or try to take after, and, uh, and I think, yeah, it's only helps to emulate people that uh, have a lot of success and people you respect. Perfect.